Hi, thanks for joining us for another edition of Beck's PFR Report. I'm Jason Webster, Beck's Hybrids Practical Farm Research Innovation Lead. Today we are in the field, we're in Livingston County, up near Odell, Illinois, and we're running our multi uh, row width planter. You know, one of the things we do in practical farm research is we're always challenging the status quo. The, the vast majority of farmers today plant on 30 inch row uh, corn, and what we're doing today along with, with this planter technology is we're looking at the industry standard of 30s versus something different like 20 inch rows. You know, we've been testing 20 inch rows versus 30 inch rows for seven years in our practical farm research program. We wanted to make some clean and pure testing. So what we did was this year was we made a multi row width planter. This is a planter from Harvest International. They're located up in Storm Lake, Iowa. They're working with us as a partner, supplying us with this planter toolbar. We've outfitted it with precision planting. They're another partner in this project. We put their meters, their, their V-Set Select meters, with, along with their mini hoppers, so we can hold three hybrids on this particular planter. But we are going to have 20 inch rows and 30 inch rows on the same planter toolbar. So every pass through the field, we've got 20 inch rows and we've got 30 inch rows. So now we can look at different hybrids, we can look at different seeding rates, and we can look at different leaf architecture in a 20 versus a 30 inch row environment. This is gonna give us some of the best narrow row data that we've ever had. With me today is Jake Ralph. Jake is a seed advisor in the central Illinois area. Jake, thanks for being with us today. You bet, Jay. Yeah, you've had an opportunity to run Bex Hybrids, multi-row width, tractor and planter. What's your thoughts? I think it's fantastic. I think it's, I think it's just an absolutely great tool. Just fantastic to get to see in, in the flesh, you might say, what's going on with this comparison. Mm -hmm. We're fortunate enough to have partnered up with some great companies for this multi-row width project. One of them is Agco. As you can see behind us here, we've got the Agco X Edition track tractor, which uh, has done a great job for us in the field. Now we're running 25 inch tracks on this, so as we, as we cross through the field, we're leaving a 22 inch track belt mark. Yep. That nice easy turn yep. and uh, leaving a nice footprint. Yep. Yep. One of the things we've been monitoring with this uh, multi-row width project is the performance of the planter. Now remember, we're running both 20s and 30s, and Jake, you've, you've had an opportunity to run this planter. We've got the precision planting V-set select meters on this planter. What kind of performance were you seeing out of the planter? Oh, fantastic. Um, anywhere from 99 to 100% accuracy, um, up to speeds up to eight, nine miles an hour uh, with an SRI under 20. Uh, very, very solid system. But uh, it all comes down to yield data. We want to find out how 20 inch rows compare to 30s and is there a difference out there, maybe an advantage growers can take of by switching to a narrow row program. We're rolling this multi row with planter in Illinois. Stay tuned for more details. We'll bring it to you through Beck's Practical Farm Research. In the meantime, this has been Jason Webster. Thanks so much for watching.